almost two months later and no visible arrest, is it time for a new approach in the Tanquella Robinson case? Nancy Grace released a second podcast asking the question that has been on just about everyone's mind. Why no arrest? When Shanquella Robinson sprung for a luxury getaway in Cabo for herself and the Cabo Six, she had no idea that it would be her last. But based on various video clips that have gone viral online, it's evident that the Cabo Six was definitely plotting something. And whatever it was resulted in the life of a beautiful, kind-hearted woman being stolen and the world crying out for justice. And as the holidays approach, the thought that the Cabo Six are still free and facing no discernible consequences for any of their actions is abhorrent and has most of us questioning what in the world is going on. Why the lack of transparency? Why the silence? Why the apparent inaction of the authorities? When FTX founder SBF is visibly arrested in the Bahamas only hours after the U.S. filed charges against him and extradited back to the U.S. within 10 days, why almost two months after Shanquilla was ambushed are we only left with a Mexican arrest warrant for one unnamed suspect and vague suppositions of a possible provisional arrest or unconfirmed detainment of the direct aggressor. Joe Bruno joining us from WSOC. I heard the rumors and my, my cell phone blew up that there had been an arrest in Shanquilla Robinson's homicide. Then quickly I learned that wasn't true. What do we know about any arrests or arrest warrants which would come out of Mexico? Right. Uh, and I've talked to the FBI, U.S. Marshals, as well as the State Attorney General's office in Mexico. All tell me they do not have any information about an arrest being made. However, it is confirmed that an arrest warrant has been issued by the State Attorney General in Baja California Sur where Cabo is. But like that report said, they have not identified the person by name. They have just said this is for the direct attacker. When Idaho law enforcement is publicly acknowledging and exploring tips about a vehicle found in another state over 700 miles away, why is Shanquella's family and the public left with no information and an admonishment to just be patient. Quilla Wong is joining me. This is Shanquilla's sister. What are police telling your mom? As of right now, nothing. Um, the FBI, uh, when she's in contact with them, it just pretty much they tell her they can't give her any information and, and to just be patient. The idea that people are sighing with relief that something is being done over the fact that a business card from law enforcement was taped to one of the Cabo Six doors is heartbreaking and a shameful testament. Because the crime that's happening right now, it's happening right here. Right here, I believe, in North Carolina, where the perps are hiding out. That's what's wrong today. Why don't we just go up to Lady Justice and rip away her shield and take her sword and put it in the Dixie Dumpster? We are not seeking justice for this girl. And it will be a day that hell freezes over that I stop seeking justice for Shinquella Robinson. It is obvious to anyone who has heard anything about this case that the Cabo Six have behaved monstrously, and yet they are still gallivanting with apparent unconcern that their actions and lack of action led to Shanquilla no longer being here. Just last week, Brandon Hamilton from Charlotte's WBTV responded to a tip 
and was able to record one of the Cabo Six just carrying on business as usual, leaving work at 5 p.m. in her Mercedes with an expensive designer bag on her arm. The idea that Chanquilla's family is kept in the dark and told to be patient while the Cabo Six have not faced any real repercussions for their actions is unconscionable. So if we have to wait for the extradition of just one unnamed suspect for the major charge, in the meantime, why can't the U.S. exercise extraterritorial jurisdiction and charge and prosecute all of them with something. If rap lyrics can be used as evidence of suspicious group activity, why can't the Cabo Six be arrested for the same based on video evidence? There's a video clip that shows one of the Cabo Six filming Shanquella while she was asleep in a hammock and referring to her as their first body and saying she was through for. Considering what occurred in the main bedroom of the villa several hours later, can't we infer intent to commit a crime from this clip alone? Or what about the video where Shanquella herself is walking through the villa, searching for the group and calling out to find where they were, but getting no response? And then as she finally approaches the room where several voices can be heard, she is able to clearly hear and repeat the intention of one of the Cabo Six to keep it hot. Which brings another scurrying out of a nearby room to hop in front of Shanquella and obstruct her view into the room where the others have gathered. Possibly giving them a chance to conceal any evidence of their plot. And... Although the conversation may have flowed into fashion and bathing suits, the vibe in the room was not so easily concealed as is revealed by the dismissive looks Shanquella received from the others. There were at least three people in that room throwing out shady looks and vibes. Does that look like conspiracy to anyone else? Finally, we have the most incriminating video of all where the Cabo Six ambush Shanquilla when she's not wearing anything at all and proceed to record and stream live while taunting her and trying to humiliate her for whatever reasons. And at about the 12 second mark, you can hear the voice of someone watching through a video call, yelling out expletives on the severity of the ambush. That crime is committed on video plain as day. Doesn't that at least allow for phone records to be investigated to see who else was watching? Doesn't that give us material witnesses? Subsequent reports from Shanquella's family members and medical documents reveal that the Cabo Six lied and possibly conspired with the Mexican doctor to falsify a police report and did everything they could to cloak their guilt and cover up criminal behavior. All of them can be charged with something in the U.S. The Cabo Six are not criminal masterminds with unlimited funds and resources. They will not escape justice for Shanquilla Robinson.